Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Eat With Niche. I got Subway today, and I get ready. And we're gonna talk about, what's her name? The girl that just got sentenced today in Jersey. She killed her baby. So, story time. Yeah, that's yours. Each in the background, my husband's background. Hey, y'all. Let me go with that now. Get this bag. Anyway, I got a uh, Philly cheese steak with some lettuce and green peppers. The lady was so rude. Like, I... At Subway? Yeah. What, you went to the one inside the one? Yeah, like, the one lady, um... The one lady lady was doing art, she was okay. But that other lady, like... She, like, okay, she's speaking in Spanish. But I can understand some Spanish. So, then a dude started laughing. made me think, like, you're seeing something smart. But then she was trying to, like... So the girl that was doing our subs was trying to put our subs inside the oven. But then the other lady wanted to put the man's with ours, but she was telling her, like, it's, enough, it's not enough room. Like, you got three foot long, it's not gonna fit in there. And like, she, her attitude, I was just like, yeah, I'm happy she's not doing my guy. I probably would've walked out, like, never mind, I don't even want your service. What? Well, up. He got on my nerves. But anyway, I got a uh, Philly cheesesteak. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I get her name right. I got a Philly cheesesteak, lettuce, and green peppers. What I gave you read. Something quick and fast, easy. Just got back from Walmart. Y'all listen. Listen, 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 listen. Mm. God is great, God is good, and we thank you for a few. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Y'all let me do what I'm saying, Grace. How hungry I was. Mm. 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 Let me just get some stuff for y'all, okay? Yeah, just got back from Walmart. My little set had came yesterday. So, or the day before, so we had to put it together. I had to get, like, some accessories for the living room. I was looking for some throw pillows, but the ones they had... No. Mm -mm, I wasn't giving. So... I'm going to go on target. It's only got hit by a breeze, y'all. I hate to touch the back. My back. So it just, it just is all there. Oh my God. 
I saw it got my hair up in the bun. Somebody asked him, was me and you a couple? Me and you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, no, the first video we sent me was sisters. Yeah. Y'all is funny. I'm cracking up with their comments, y'all. I'm cracking up. I'm like, I'm No, I think my comment, somebody said, uh, if you don't treat noodles, I, I do. She don't be doing no noodles. But, like. I be telling her that someone I used to chew. Yeah, like, I be scared I'm going to choke. I mean, it's not. I, it be getting in my teeth, and, and y'all don't share that. It, it, it irritates my gums. Like, like, I try. Yo, they be funny. I can't deal with it. I don't think nobody knows and my kids eat every time we eat. Can y'all stop thinking that we just get food and don't feed my kids? Like, what? They, eat, it. they, they eat better than us. They eat way more than You are. I'm gonna shop it every week, y'all. Mm -hmm. I put it like four, almost close to four hundred dollars every week. And not a day out of school on spring, on uh, Christmas break. It's like you double on it yep. because. When they in school, you just gotta worry about in the morning. My daughter get up extra early, so she might want something out the door. Then when they come home, you gotta make sure it's snacks together because they be hungry when they come home. But by the time they get home, dinner always already about to get started. Eat dinner, they want a snack after dinner. Then the weekends, you got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between every meal. Like, and my kids eat. Okay. I don't stop them and listen. What are we going to do? Save the food? Right. Let it go around. Right. <laughs> but I I made in between them, though. But everything we eat. They eat, unless they don't like it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh-uh. I want to, um, I don't know if I probably can. So my husband's birthday, we was born, go to, um, Cheesecake Factory. No, he funny. So I said, baby, where you want to go for your birthday? He was like, it don't matter. I'm like, all right, we can go to the Cheesecake Factory. Guess what you're going to say? What? But I don't eat cheesecake. Look. <laughs> no. no, but he was dead serious. He said, but I don't eat cheesecake. Say? I said, babe, they don't just sell cheesecake yeah, there. <laughs> no, at first, because well, I never So I had to tell him to Google and look at the menu. That's and he was I like, oh, I'm like, it's... <laughs> you know, it was so funny. He's like, well, I don't eat cheesecake. <laughs> I, I said that to somebody before. They was like, David, it's not just cheesecake there. Mm -hmm. like, but I do, I love cheesecake. Especially strawberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Strawberry or, one? Or, or, or cherry. Or mm -hmm. I'll be good. The strawberry, I've been mean, having all day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right on the counter. So story time. I got full. From first two. She just got sent this today. Mm-hmm. Life. So it was a girl, her name was Nick Nikki. Nika. 
and she lived out well where we, where we lived at in Jersey, in Bristol, and she just got sentenced to life for killing her baby. So, for I'm I'm alive with her baby. Sorry. So. Oh no, she got sentenced in February. Okay, so I was right. She just got sentenced, but she got sentenced in February. Okay. So, basically, how I remember it is because it was because, like I said, it was in Bristol. We all lived in Bristol. So, it was an Amber Alert for the baby. But they said the baby was missing at Walgreens. Cookie, get out. Think she about to get something. Um, it was an Amber Alert for Walgreens, and then she said the baby was missing. Now, from if like I'm the kind of person that I'm sorry, y'all. Like I'm a mini CSI person, okay? Like for real, like I really go into details. I knew it was bullshit when I first saw it, heard it. Like bull crap. Sorry. I knew what it was when I when I first heard the story. It just didn't add up. First of all, Walgreens got a whole bunch of cameras. Not just by Walgreens, got a lot of cameras. The light got cameras. Back up, Cookie. The light got cameras. Um, KFC got cameras. TD Bank got, like, they all next to each other. So, it just didn't add up. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, somebody, if somebody took your baby in that parking lot, then it's so easy for them to just pull up a camera and just see. She decides, then she said her story was first. Hold on. Let me, let me I want to get the direct story before I just say something. What? She get on my nerves. Um. And then the dad was at work and all this was going down. The dad worked at the hospital. At her hospital. And that, that's even worse like, to be at work and get a phone call like that. I would lose my mind. Like, I would lose my mind. Um, I'm so mad. Like, okay, so she said she, she admitted to burning her child. Oh, God, this is so hard. So she first claimed that she walked to the store in Bristol with a stroller and an infant's child strapped to her chest. Her first story was she walked to Walgreens and she had her little baby on her chest and she had the the one that that's alive inside the stroller. So this is on February 8th of 2019. When somebody assaulted her, she said supposedly somebody assaulted her and knocked her down to the ground. When she looked up, she said Daniel, her son, was in the stroller and the stroller was gone. So Daniel and the stroller was gone. That's what she said on 911 call, right? A series of 911 calls. So they were still not only getting a lot of calls about it, okay, uh, from her. She reported she was assaulted. And responded from police, which belonged, which she said, she called the police, said she was assaulted. So that's the whole thing. And she was assaulted, somebody took her baby. That's the story she gave. She said it happened at Walgreens. They go to Walgreens, they look at the footages, like I said, nothing, they don't even show her there. She was never there. She was never at Walgreens. Her baby was never there. She was never there. Then she said, oh, the next story was she was on the street. So the street that she said was like behind where I used to live at. So, they found a stroller on that street. Okay? So, number one, I'm, I'm already suspecting you're lying. I know you're lying. Cookie, get out. I know you're lying because, first of all, first was at Walgreens. Now you're on the street that's two, three blocks from your house. It's, it's not adding up. So, the little boy wasn't found. For a while, like no, for them hours, the boy wasn't found. Y'all, they found the little boy remains inside of a bag. I think it was a Gucci bag, 
and it's like a, it was like a little, I don't know how to explain them, like little, little boxes that be in front, by your mailboxes, you sit in front of your mailboxes, like, so say if you like want gifts, like, so my mom, she used to have one at her old house, like, it was like a little box, and like when deliveries come, if they didn't want to put them at the door, they put them inside the box, that's basically where they found the baby remains at, like, it was dug, it was in the dirt, so, she, I'm trying to, I don't want to, I'm, I don't want to get in too much in detail because, um, you know what I mean? I understand. And it hurts me every time I read it. So. Oh, uh, so the grandmother. Okay, so the baby was, the baby was found burned. And the remains was in the backyard of the family home. It wasn't in the backyard though, it was the front yard because I remember. No, it was the backyard. Because the front yard is where they put the candles and stuff. Because I went by there. Me and my grandma went by there. We put some candles in. So, a teddy bear in there. So, um, they said that they were found him in the backyard. I don't know what was going on with her. Like, and at first, it's like, I didn't want to judge her because I'm like, maybe she's going through postpartum. You get what I'm saying? Because people think, oh, postpartum is after you have baby. Like, no, I had postpartum for like three years. Like, postpartum is like serious. So I'm thinking like, maybe she's going through postpartum. Maybe it was just too much for her. Maybe like, because the dad was working so much that you get what I'm saying? She was a stay-at-home mom. Maybe she it just was too much for her. You know what I mean? So I don't know. But let me tell you something. If you is overwhelmed and you do feel like you need a break, and I understand this family, people, the people who don't have family, don't have the support, I understand that. But you have to find self time for yourself. As moms, we have to find time for ourselves because all we think about is our kids and our family, and we don't never think about ourselves. That's why, and I used to be that same way. That's why I stopped doing that. And I start literally, my nail appointment is my my time. Like, my phone will not disturb Yes, my phone's will not disturb and I'm relaxing because I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to think about nothing. This is my time. So that's my time. So everybody as a mom need to find that time where it's just all about you. Because if we're not taking care, taking care of ourselves, how are we going to take care of our babies? Just think about it. I look at it like this. My kids feed off of energy. So if I wake up and I have a bad attitude and bad energy, guess what's going to happen? The whole house is going to wake up with a bad energy and bad attitude. If I wake up positive, everybody going to wake up positive. You get what I'm saying? Like, one mood can change the whole... And that's why every when I just wake up, I got a smile on my face. Even if I'm worried about something, I don't... Mm -mm. I'm happy. Thank God waking me up this morning, I'm happy. That's all I say. So, um... <clears throat> sorry, God, for topic, but I had to say that. Because some people just... Think like a mother is a full time job. Like these babies get sick, sports, doctor's appointments, dentist appointment. Like we like we do a lot. And don't get me wrong, it's dead out there to do it. But think about it: the dad and the mom home. Who do the child call more? The mom, mom, mom. Me and my husband could be sitting right there next to each other. My kids are shake mom. I'm like, Your dad right here. Like. Mom, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, so, y'all had credit to these moms because we be trying. And sometimes people just get hard times. Like, if I, if I always say be nice to people. You never know what somebody's going through. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, oh, so, so the grandma spoke up in court. So they gave her life. They gave her life. Um, if you want to look at the story, the girl from Bristol, New Jersey, <sighs> Jesus, they gave her life, they sent her to life, and it's like, she was coming to court all, when I talk, like, she was denying to go to court because she didn't have her makeup, and I'm like, you worry about makeup, baby, and you like, yeah, your mind not, your mind can't be in the right space, like, it can't be, because you worrying about makeup and you not going to court unless you got makeup. What? And your baby, like, I don't know. So basically they searched, they had the dog search the house and that's how they found the boy remains. So they had a dog out there and the dog, for real, why is it doing that? 
and the dog um had a piece of the baby clothing and the dog found the remains basically that's basically how they found the baby so the baby she had she had basically cooked the baby like she put it in the oven like she chopped him up put him in the oven like I, I, it, it, it's just like I don't like what what was going through your mind so my mind is like did he fall and you got scared or like did you beat him and then he beat him too rough a little bit and you got scared and he was like what was he alive like it's a lot of things you know what I'm saying but she got sentenced with life without possibility of parole mm-mm mm Wow, 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 wow. Before the sun rose the next morning, police had to found, had found the child burnt remains in the in her yard around 3 a.m. The autopsy that the child was beaten to death. Wow. She pled she pled to a deal in October 2019. To 30 years in prison, pled guilty to uh, murder charges. She was denied and instead chose to go to trial. I would deny her too, cause you know now you want to take a plea deal. Yeah, I would deny her too. Like you go to trial. Wow. I didn't even know she got sentenced, y'all. I just seen this earlier. My sister, we had a group chat, and my sister's gonna put it in a group chat. And I'm like, I didn't even know she got sentenced. Cause last time I last time I looked the case up, she was like her her lawyer kept postponing it because she wanted to dress a certain way and she wanted makeup and I'm like, baby, you fighting for your life. You worried about makeup? Like, yeah, baby, not here. You worried about makeup? Like that's crazy. Mm mm. And when it comes to people, kids, when it comes to from kids, period, I really get offensive, like, because, as y'all know, I lost a child. So when I hear somebody, like, hurting their child, that pisses me off, like, like, come on, you could have did, and then it's like, she had help. His mom, anybody, like, but maybe she probably felt like she didn't have, I don't know. I don't know. But that's crazy, though. I'm sorry, that's crazy, like. Mm -mm. that be on my mind like was that baby crying what was he saying like a lot of that I don't understand I don't see how he put parents to hurt the kids period like I know we go through things, and I'm not judging nobody, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, her deliverance said, hey, King. We had, we had built it. And I'm at the Walmart today. Like trying to get like little accessories for the living room. I ordered a lot of stuff to put in the living room, like hang up. But I would look for like some throw pillows and stuff like that. But Six. No. they ain't really had nothing nice. Six. And I was mad. I was mad. She is spoiled. That's her problem. That's her problem. She's spoiled.
Mm. But I probably tell you, be nice because you don't know what somebody going to. A prime example at this store. I didn't like her attitude, and I could have went off. Maybe she just having a bad day. I don't know. But she should have went to the back and reset it herself. You feel what I'm saying? But I said, you know what? I don't know what the hell. She, I don't know what she's going through. So I ain't gonna say nothing. It is what it is. Like, hopefully, then her next person. But maybe it just was the guy. Cause then when a lady behind us went, she spoke to her. She greeted her. So I'm like, okay, maybe I don't know. But I really. But I just kept smiling. I ain't even. I'm like, look, maybe she gonna do something. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, I'm so happy they. I gotta hang these fly things up because. But the back door was messed up. The screen, they came and fixed it, and I thought I killed the flies. But it seemed like. Every time you open up the door, they, like, what is going on? Like, Vegas, what is going on with these flies? Like, mm -mm. It's literally two. Two of them that's around, that's keep flying. And I got a sticky thing up over there, but I might have put one right here and right there. Because it's it's like ridiculous. No, I don't want to make me not want to eat. Mm -mm. I'm full. I need you to come hang one of these up. They pissing me off. It's just two of them. It's pissing me off. I'm full, y'all. I'm done. This video was just thrown together. I ain't gonna lie. I just came back from Walmart. I got me some stuff away, so I'm like, I just... I never had this Gatorade. It's good. It's blue one. It's good. Yeah, that's good. The cool blue. I never had this one. I always had every other flavor. I never had this one. I know. But thank y'all for watching the video. Thank y'all for, for the last video. Thank y'all for sharing these videos. Cause like I was on the TV in the living room, and I'm not logged in on that TV for YouTube. So it was like recommended in my video for Taco Bell, Olive Garden. I'm like. I was hyped, but thank y'all for sharing the videos. Continue to share the videos. Continue support. I thank y'all. I love y'all. Excuse me. Make sure y'all stay positive. Be nice to others. Smile. Thank God. Cause without God. He really pisses me off. Like, like y'all don't understand. Like, like why, why, why? 
I see y'all. He just pissed me off. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. and share this video with any and everyone. I love y'all. Shut up. No. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him, y'all. Oh, my God. See y'all. I love y'all. Bye. Peace. See y'all.